Linus Tech Tips coverage of PAX 2013 is brought to you by Western Digital, Intel, and SteelSeries. Welcome to the Cooler Master booth here at PAX 2013. They've got a ton of stuff on demo, but it's all kind of one thing. This is the half stacker system, and this is what the, I mean, this is the most monstrous computer I think I've seen here at the show. How do you configure one of these? You don't get the whole thing in one box. So you start with a half 935. So to be clear, a half 935 is kind of a normal sort of half looking case. So it's an ATX case, it supports an ATX motherboard, it's got your usual sort of eight expansion slots, and then it has a half 915, which is actually available as a standalone purchase with either a rear mounted power supply or a front mounted power supply. So it comes with a half 915 stacked on top of it. They've got little guide rails, so you can actually stack them on top of, well, the 935 unit that comes pre-assembled, or you can even buy multiple 915s on your own and stack them together as many times as you wanted. So you can push on, ah, there we go, that one. You can open up the second one, and it's a standalone MITX case, so you can either have the power supply mounted in the front by default or in the rear, that's the R SKU, and the advantage of the front-mounted power supply is that it gives you more room for tall tower coolers where the ITX motherboard would be, or if you don't really care about front-mounted power supply, rear-mounted power supply, or putting a motherboard in it at all, you can use it as strictly a storage box, so this one right here has everything pulled out of it with the stacker system they are trying to avoid using rivets pretty much entirely and focus on allowing them to screw together. So you're actually able to pull out all the mounts for everything and throw nine hard drives in there. Hey, maybe you don't want to go that route. Maybe you want to go a completely different route, use it as a rad box. That's where the half 945 comes in. So to be clear, you buy a half 935, which has a regular sort of normal tower with a 915 on it. You can buy additional 915s. You buy an additional 915 for your nine 35, you have a 945. And the way this one's configured with nice tight screws, so I can't open it up and show you guys, is there's actually two 360 millimeter radiators in the bottom, two 360 millimeter radiators in the top. Also in the bottom is a pump and fan controller, and all of that is supporting one beastly water cooled system here. So there's a 4770K, 16 gigs of dual channel RAM from Kingston, full liquid cooling from Coolance, including two. GTX 690s, so those are running in quad SLI, and of course, if you have all that radiator surface area for cooling, you're going to be able to, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be nice and I'm not gonna touch the back of their cards, but I will tell you, they are definitely running extremely cool. So we're expecting this to be available on shelves October 15th or so, because I mean, you never know, these aren't even finished samples right here. But the last thing I wanted to point out is that the way that they are going to align is going to allow you to see that this with the tubing here or the wiring is going to give you so much flexibility. You want your power supply in the bottom unit, go for it. You want your radiators in the bottom unit, you need to pass your cables and your tubes in between them, go for it. One other thing I wanted to show off, since we're here at the booth anyway, is their Cherry MX key switch sampler. So it comes with reds, greens, clears, blues, browns, and blacks. It costs 15 bucks on their store, 25. 25 bucks on 15 on the store. And you get a $15 credit from the CM Storm store to buy a mechanical keyboard after you buy it. So effectively, you get it for free if you're committed to getting a mechanical keyboard and you really want to try them out ahead of time. So that pretty much wraps it up for this booth, guys. Remember, our trip to the show is powered this year by Western Digital, Intel, and SteelSeries. Huge thanks to you guys for allowing us to be here.